Uh, the first performances were uh, amazing, um, just that element of risk uh, and what have you, the actual live element of it with such a powerful sound on stage was amazing, uh, really want to do that again. I really, I really loved the experience of, of writing lyrics for Rock Mass because as a songwriter it gave me a very broad canvas on which to express ideas. Normally a songwriter is limited to three minutes and so to have an hour to write lyrics was just amazing. We had a very long standing ovation uh, after the first performances, which was, again, I'm not used to having to stand there for that length of time and, and, and be congratulated on things, and run deservedly so, because everything sounded amazing on the night. I had to do a lot of gigs, but this is I've never done anything like this before, and it was a good level of nerves. It was nice to be slightly frightened again, uh, which I was. <laughs> um, but it's such, it's such a reward when you finally pull it off. I have been working on this project for almost five years. So it was quite exhausting work. But we have received so many positive reactions that I'm happy I was able to finish it. First time I've sung with a symphony orchestra. Being a guitarist, I normally sing with one guitar, so it was uh, it was a fantastic experience. But what struck me just was the power of the music and the atmosphere of the place was an experience I will never forget. And I remember one old lady coming up to me after the performance. She was probably about 80 years old, had studied music in Vienna. She had tears rolling down her face and she just said, that was the most fantastic music I've ever heard. Sometimes the mass is quite dark. And there are a few songs like Song for Dying World, um, even Kyrie Eleison, which is very dark, you know, because we're asking these quite difficult questions. But at the same time, the rock mass has some very positive songs which give us keys to the I absolutely loved the first performance in Carlo Vivari in the Czech Republic. It was just such an incredible experience. The theatre was amazing. The musical came to life. Singing with the orchestra was just out of this world. I've never sung with a full orchestra before, so yeah, I, I had shivers the whole time, goosebumps on my arms because you know you can't beat a real orchestra behind you all playing. And um, yeah, it was really, really quite an experience. to get the opportunity to do that again. Uh, anywhere that would want to hear that, I'm sure they'll be really pleased when they actually hear it. It's such a, such a great thing to do, and I want to do it many, many times. <laughs> My favourite song from the rock mass would be the gospel song. Uh, I love gospel music. I just love the way that 
um, you can kind of be free with it and you know you can sit to the melody for a while but then you can really just feel where you want to go with it and um, it's not too rigid and set in stone you can have a bit of fun with it so I think I really had had a bit of fun with that one <laughs> As a spiritual being, I can entirely identify with the message of faith that is in Latin Mass. But we decided to translate this message into modern English that can be much easier sung and performed than Latin. Martin Lebel, the French conductor, I mean, he is a man of passion too, and that comes out when you hear the recording. You can hear the orchestra giving their best. And the rock band too. I mean, it's, it's not just an orchestra supporting a rock band. It's a fusion of rock, symphonic music and jazz music, which is just stunning. And for me, the recording captured that energy in a way that I wasn't really expecting to get onto a CD. It just has phenomenal passion to it. Phenomenal. really pleased with how the CDs turned out. It's such a powerful sounding thing. I, um, whoever's the guy mixing it has done such a fantastic job. Uh, all of those parts and, and I love how my voice actually sits with everything else and obviously working with Kirsten, getting those two voices to blend together and I think that's been sort of quite successful.